Enemy is time. Let's go. Who's your enemy? Enemy. Who's your enemy? Who's your enemy? Enemy. Ready to battle. Every rival. Conquer these giants. I'm just fighting for survival. Bring out the lions. The animal inside me. It's come on the leash. I like the cage. I least the beast. Hey, hey. I'm making some ways, I'm making so many ways, hey, I hear the song, the lightning and rain, nothing can stand in my way, wait, you're hungry for power, I'm thirsty for pain, I'm growing up in the flames, hey, this is judgment day, hey, stand up, you ready, let's ride, you ready, let's go. to the Stanley Cup is never a straight line. It's a twisted two-month gauntlet guided by a single hard truth. No one is ever fully prepared for what lies ahead. The expectations, the surprises, the successes, and the pain. Now is when the heart of a player, the soul of a team, is revealed. This will come down to who is willing to sacrifice everything for their teammates. Look around. We move beyond playing, beyond living in the moment. We are consumed by it. is never a strategy. Our mantra is trust and belief. This is the Stanley Cup playoffs where anything is possible. Anything. Hi, everybody. Welcome to New York City and the world's most famous arena. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. New Jersey's in closer mode here as they go into tonight's game. You want to stay hungry? You know the other team's going to be desperate trying to stay alive. But you can end this right now. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Across the line and on the attack. Look out. Oh, a clutch save. The play doesn't die on his stick, James. There's always a next play for him because he works his way around the defenders. He's got a good chance here again, but the goalie makes a good save. Odd man rush. By Blackwood. Save is good. Better. Scores! How are you doing? Whoa! They create that speed and that room off the rush. Great shot. Beats the goaltender clean. That's just a great shot. He's on the move. The snapshot beats the goaltender who's not even set yet. Here with the play starting to break down in front of him. 
Plenty of playing time left in this frame. New York's ahead, 1-0. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. A shot! Oh, they do it again! So good, a couple of quick stops keep the puck out. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Great defensive effort with the stick. New York's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Tarasenko. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Gains the zone through center. Back at the point, they set it up. Moves it quickly over to Mercer. And now it's grabbed by Trocek. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Kako. The Devils gain possession in their own end. Moves the puck. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Through center along the wing. Wrists one. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Works it across to Mercer. Across the line from center. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Blackwood's able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. More than half the period has expired. We got a 1-0 game to this point. The Devils win the draw here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Kako. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. New York's got the puck along the wall. Sends one across. And sends it just out of reach. Blackwood's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Hamilton's heat seeker zone ability means he can find the net with a long range wrister to create a scoring chance. Sabinijak's advantage is his soft hands, guys. His magnetic zone ability means he can get a great first touch to settle the puck and keep the play alive. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Panarin. Takes it to the front. Angles it over to Halla. New Jersey's moving it into the offensive end. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't connect on the pass. Oh, and it completely muffs the shot. Slides the puck over. A shot. Oh, it cuts up with nothing on the play. And there it is. 20 minutes is in the books of this one. The Rangers head to the room feeling pretty good about themselves, leading 1-0. And as both teams head to the respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. The Devils take possession in the defensive end. And now it's to Heischer. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Slides it back to the blue line. There's a shot, and that goes off a player. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Here's a shot. Oh, great save by Blackwood. Oh, it stops him again. What a stop. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Lots of time left in this period. The Rangers lead it 1-0. Here's a chance to set up now. Can't connect on the shot. 
Hamilton slugging the puck. And they won't connect on that one. And now it's over to Pratt. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Blocker save! Scores! That's two unanswered now. Uh, they stayed right on it. Once they got that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. That's a really good play. He knocks this out of midair, shows some great eye-hand coordination. But he also shows some hockey IQ. He's got to wait until that puck settles in below the crossbar. Otherwise, it's a high stick and the goal will be negated. New York's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay. Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. This play doesn't happen without the accurate passing that has to go into the play before it ends up in the net. What a great play, known for this. And that's the ability to find the open player and then put the puck right on the tape. If you're a goal scorer, you want to play with him because he can distribute that puck so firmly and accurately. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, and we saw him do that there to pick up the apple. Tries to get it over to Trocek. Score! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. We get another look at this, James, and I thought it might have been deflected, but that's clean by the goalie. He just gets a little piece of it. The Rangers have really opened things up here in the second. It's getting out of hand. They've run roughshod over their opponent here in this period. It seems like they're going to score every shift. And that one's broken up. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Poked away in the offensive end. Off a stick. Takes a shot. Great stop by Blackwood. Blackwood's fought that puck all night long. He makes a good save there, James, but it's been a long night for him, and the guys in front of him haven't been much better. Picked off by Kreider. Here's a chance! Denies him with the pad. The Devils move it in. Moves right to the middle. He scores! And a big one from there! That's a pretty critical goal in the playoffs here. It's his first ever. Oh, what an effort. He did everything he could to stop that, but he gets beat anyway. The Devils still have a big mountain to climb here in the second. Yeah, but they show a little life, I guess, James. I mean, things have gone so poorly for them, but that goal has to give them a little energy. Of Benajad's one possession. Taken by Kane. Picked up along the wall by Brad. Great reach with the poke check. Tees him up. Blocked in front. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Gains the zone on the left wing. There's the collision. Here comes the call. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Devils get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power play's first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. Denies him in front. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. 
Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Can't get it to go. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. Mott's got the puck along the wing. Shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Pass back to the point. And that carries off a stick. Handles the puck. Mercer's got it against the boards. And that's knocked away by Mott. Kane's up at the box. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Chesterkin's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. Late goings of this period. New York's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Sends a pass over. On the attack along the boards. Grabs control of it at the point. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Well, they get a chance to catch their breath, but not for long. Icing, big face-off coming up. The centerman has most of the responsibility here. He can only delay so long before they're going to have to get the puck on the ice. His year's going to take on a lot here as the captain of this team, and they're not playing very well. They're chasing the game, and he's got to be the one to grab everybody by the collar and say it's time to get back to work here. Receives the pass. Takes a shot, and that's turned aside by Blackwood. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. In addition, team groups are available tonight at your team store. Get yours before they're all gone. Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. Between the benches, I'm James Sabalski, ready to bring you period number three. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? New York's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Drives to the paint, denies him! Blackwood surprised a lot of people over his career with some of the saves he makes. Now, this isn't the best one ever, but man, this is a beauty. It surprised me. I didn't think he was gonna get it. Well, that'll get a response. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. His year's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. And now he moves it quickly to Lindgren. Hammers a shot. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask. And it stays out, and play continues. Heischer's going off to the box for two minutes. You're on the receiving end of this. You're not very happy. That's a penalty all day long. Pretty easy call to make. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. The power play guys are pumped here. They haven't had any chances tonight. Here's their first. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Wood. Let's it go. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Quick feed to Kreider. New Jersey's got a hold of the puck now. New York's got the puck in their own end. Trocek's carrying it ahead. Puck scooped up by Severson. Great puck check on the reach. The Rangers slide the puck near the point. And that pass goes off a stick. The Devils move it ahead. Throws it in. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. 
His shears ready to go. Takes a shot and a great save. Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock out. I'm assuming he's given up hope that his team is going to take control of this game. He's been brilliant. He's bailed them out all night long. Still lots of time left here in this frame, and it's been a pretty one-sided affair to this point. It's 4-1. Blackwood's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Rangers win the draw. Shot from the point. That's off a stick. Puck grabbed by Tarasenko. Poked away by Palat. Up along the wing. And now he tries to get it across to Hamilton. New Jersey's got the puck against the boards. Moves it to Palat. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Tarasenko's getting called for tripping on the play. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The Devils once again send out their power play unit. When you're on the power play and you get one in a game you haven't had many, don't let the coach think. Get yourself on the ice and get yourself ready for the faceoff. Stones him in front. Big stop by the keeper. And he slides it quickly to Severson. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves inside! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The Devils pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. The Rangers get a hold of the puck under man. Snapper from the slot! Unbeatable! He scores! What a counterpunch shorthanded! Teams are talking more and more about being aggressive when they're down a man. This is the result. Every once in a while, you're going to punch one through shorthanded. Oh, from behind the goal line, that thing's got an odor on it. The Rangers are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin, you can use your whole bench and coast it in. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Quick shot, glove save. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. Well, the man advantage unit might welcome being back at even strength after giving up a shorthanded goal in that power play. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the shorthanded goal, a sloppy power play, and they pay for it. Here's a shot, and the puck banks off the glove. Hammers a shot. There's another stop. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender. Fox is stick handling in his own zone. Stops him again. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Scores! Well, they haven't given up just yet. No, but there's still a long road to go, James, before they can realistically think that they're back in this game. But you get one, maybe you get another one quickly, and you can turn the tide. Pretty clear the goaltender's not expecting this shot. That defensive zone turnover results in this quick shot. Beats the goalie low. The Devils still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the uh, end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Slides the pass over to Kane. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Here's a chance. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. There's a trademark there. He's not going particularly fast, 
but he has this way of finding open ice going to the net. I don't know how he does it, but there's another scoring chance. A chance! Oh, what a stop by Blackwood! Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. Feeds the puck to Pallott. Here he is, shot right in front! Denies the shooter on that play. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Devils have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Nice pass. He scores! That's two in a row! They got the first one, and I was really interested to see how they would respond. They kept the pressure on. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. There's another for the hit parade. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. And look at this. We are all tied up three games apiece. And what does that mean, Razor? Uh, I guess it means another game, James. You wanted me to say game seven. That's being captain well, obvious, I guess. Yeah, so. because, you know, everybody can count. And if you're tied at 3-3, now you get to game seven. Just bring it on, game seven, people. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.